What are we going to do in here today? Well, I'm going to let you know. We're going to get rid of that tired looking thing. So we'll see you in a second. everybody welcome to into my gt entertainment and i am joel as you can see we have a little project for electra uh, it shouldn't take very long but with me i'll probably blow up the house or something crazy will happen and it'll take forever to do but roughly about a 30 minute install um it might take a little longer because i'm doing the recording at the same time but just to show you what we got going on and what you're going to need to do what we're going to do she is all right everyone so there is a can um an expansion tank which is what that is pretty much but that looks so much better right um the only drawback i see with the expansion tank that we have is there's no way of knowing how much fluid you have in it you have to check it periodically by opening the cap and doing it yourself and um it does use your factory cap so that will get transferred over there when we get to the end of it but what you're going to need there's a 10 millimeter socket, a little extension, your ratchet. For mine, I have a seven millimeter, I believe is what this is. Yeah, seven millimeter for this bolt right here because it is a different one than you would get on a factory. And then your little clamps that you have here, you just need this to, button, to undo them. Now, if y'all are wondering why I have some tape here, I'm going to try something a little different um, because once you get these hoses off, you do have your towels to pick up the residual, but you're gonna have fluid in this tank. So what I'm gonna do is block off the holes with the tape so that way if I do tilt it one way or the other, it doesn't go all over the floor of the car and everything else. And what I wanna do is what you'll see when I go to the bottom of this, I need to put it on its side. So I want to make sure that I get it on its side, get this mounted back, and then dump that back into this. So we're going to see how all that works out. Sounds complicated, but we'll see how that all happens. So let's get this stuff started. All right, as you can see, I got the clamp slid back, and now I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. You're going to have to break it loose a little bit, and then Make sure you have your rag ready to grab what comes out. All right, as you can see, got that hose there, came off of here, and that one there. Now I'm about to unbolt these and get to the bottom. Wish me luck. Right. So now that I have the tank loose, I got the holes covered up. What you gotta do is undo this clamp that is under here. Now, as you can see, I have it on its side. So in theory, I should be able to undo this and not make a mess. There might be some in the tube, but um, for storage purposes, I should be able to drain that back into the other tank once I'm done if I don't knock it over along the way. So here we go. All right, one. So now you see I got the hose out. No big mess, thank God. I had a little spillage, but you know, it wasn't major. Just a little drop here and there, easy to clean. And then I got the tank right there. And then once I get that other tank tied back in, I'll just pour that into the other. No biggie. All right, everyone. So now it is installed. All the hoses are clamped back in, as you can see. And there is something I wanted to mention. Hold on real quick. A lot of people won't think of this off the bat. Make sure it's level. Um, because when you first put it in there, it's not really level, but as you can see, I got it in there. It's not perfect, perfect, but you know, it's a lot better than it was. So that way the tank sits flush where it needs to. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that fluid in there and uh, see what happens. 
All right, everybody, as you can see, I have the fluid now in there. Now, as I said before, you can't test this like you do because there's nowhere to read it anywhere on the can. So I made up this little diagram. This is inside the can. Those two lines is where I want it to sit. So you go in here, let it hit the bottom, do like you do when you're a kid, hold the top, and as you can see, I'm a little below it, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more. But yeah, this is one way to get around that situation. Right here. So yeah, it's just a little low. So we'll go ahead and take care of that. See you one second. All right, guys, and now as you can see, this is what it looks like. It is now all in. I'm gonna pressure test the system, make sure that no leaks or anything. Should be good to go. It's not a very hard install, but that's what she looks like. Now you can also get custom tops if you want. Um, I'm just sticking with the factory one for right now. So maybe I'll do a blue top at some point, I don't know. But for that, that's a whole other story. But as you can see, it kind of goes with the scheme, you know, Boss 302 painted, valve covers painted, and now that's painted. And they're all the same color as the car. So yeah, we'll close this out in one second. As you see, we are running it now, making sure there's no leaks. So far, so good. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit longer. We'll see what happens. All right, everybody, so did the let it heat up. It got up to about 190 degrees operating temperature. It's doing good, no leaks, anything. What I did notice, this gets hot. Um, I guess it's just part of the deal because it's metal, not plastic. So I put a thermometer on it. It was the highest I got it was 175. Then I guess it started flowing through and moving the temperature around. So it sits around 165-ish. So just food for thought. It is hot to the touch. So uh, just to be mindful of that part so um other than that it does good so we're gonna go ahead and close out this video see you in a sec all right everybody so that is the video on the moroso expansion coolant tank um as you can see it fits in there nicely color combo is pretty good now too um if you want any products like this performance products exhaust and whatnot hit up my boy jay at staging lane performance um, go ahead and I'll drop it somewhere over here and I'll put a link in the description. And also, I want to thank my buddy Brett for doing some paint work for me. So if y'all need any paint work and y'all in the Richmond area, little things, not old cars or whatever, um, just hit me up and I will let you know what's going on. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, if you like it, if you don't like it, if you think that something needs to be changed around or whatever. So we will catch you on the next video and... See you then. Peace.